Hey guys, welcome back to the 164 show. My name is Peter and I'm super glad that you guys are here because I have some cool historical Hot Wheels that I want to show you. But before we get into that, I wanted to say thank you so much to today's sponsor. They're new on board with the 164 show. They are Koval Display. So if you've been struggling to display your Super Treasure Hunts, your Redline Club or any other high-end Hot Wheels, they had the solution for you. They're super simple, super strong and they look amazing on your Hot Wheels or your die-cast display units or cabinets. So take those Hot Wheels off the wall, stop using thumbtacks or any other any other solutions uh, and make sure you are protecting your Hot Wheels. Come on, it doesn't make any sense. You are spending hundreds of dollars on single pieces of Hot Wheels and you're putting it into $1 or $2 protectors or you're just hanging up in the wall, they're not protected. So make sure you check them out, go check them out on the link below, covertdisplays.com.au. Give them a follow on the Instagram as well, all the details are in the description. I do want to say before we get into the video, uh, they, we are planning to do a promotion with Kovo Display for the month of May and a little bit of June. Uh, so stay tuned, follow us on Instagram and watch our next episode dropping next week uh, to find out what's going on and what kind of cool promotion we're doing with Kovo Display. So let's get into today's video. Hot Wheels has made some amazing cars since the late 60s until now. They had some really cool limited edition stuff as well. So if you recall box sets to Christmas specials to special um, market specific Hot Wheels such as the US or even Japan. But in the 90s, 95 to be exact and maybe a bit around that kind of year, they did some really interesting ones with what was popular back then and that was floppy disk little uh how much was this what 1.7 megabytes of storage in one of these so new the younger generation probably only know these things as the save button but for the oldies out there we used to rely on these and maybe the bigger ones as well um, these ones, this one specifically was in 1995 and I have another one here which is also from 1995. So the very first one is a Camaro um, and the second one is a fantasy car called the Hydroplane. So what I'm interested here to show you guys is what's exactly inside these floppy disks. What did you get for your money that you spent? I actually don't know how much these would have been back in 1995, but I don't imagine they were more than $10. But anyway guys, uh, they're still in the packaging. The packaging is in very rough condition. Uh, let's check, check it out. Now, I'm gonna flip around and just kind of see what's at the back. Um, so it's, they're called computer cars or computer disc and they're Windows compatible. You need eight megabytes of RAM or more, 486 processor or better, color monitor with at least 256 colors. Pretty sure my monitor can, <laughs> can well, hopefully it's, uh, it's compatible. You need um, an optional sound blaster card, so a sound card or equivalent, and also a printer. Okay, so, it actually gives you kind of a rough idea what's actually inside these floppy. It looks like a very generic, easy kind of game where you can customize your car. So I'm holding the one for the Camaro. Um, and it says, um, it's to paint your car, repair your car. You can raise and lower the hydraulic lift. Ooh. Change lanes, crash out or pass, challenge or win, click to read, computer, comic screens. Discover fun facts about your car, play the name matching game and see other cool cars you can collect. So this was in 1990, uh, so this date is 1995 on the packaging, but it says available in spring of 1996. So what you could collect is the 1993 Camaro, which I'm holding here. There is something called the Power Piston, which is another fantasy car. The Hydroplane, which I also have here. The Rigor Mortar 1996 Mustang. 
and also the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. That would have been amazing. I think that would have been the more valuable one. Everyone loves the Wiener Mobile, right? Anyway, let's actually crack this open and see what this can do and what it's actually like. So I'm going to flip over and show you guys my screen uh, and see if this floppy <laughs> even works. It'll be the greatest. Uh, it'll be a shame that these don't work. What's the life? Uh, what is the lifespan of a floppy disk? Okay, I brought it out and this looks like this. It's the floppy disk. And actually the floppy itself is actually in very good condition. Obviously being in the, in the case, it would be, but I was afraid it was gonna be UV damage, it was gonna be brittle. I really hope this works uh, and there's no um, errors in reading this. Um, so the floppy was made by a company called Macromedia uh, back in 1994 and not much else is about this so i'm gonna put that in and i'm gonna show you the car a little later but let's see what's on this floppy the first one is a camaro okay my floppy floppy disk um sorry the floppy drive that i got was a usb power floppy drive um but i might have an issue with running this because in the instruction manual of this floppy drive, it says that you need to have Windows 2000 or older. My laptop, my computer, Windows, uh, no, they're not Windows 2000. So I might have some issues reading what's on this. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. So they're not gonna run. Okay, I'm gonna figure out a way to get this running and I will come back to you guys. Hey guys, oh my god, I am back. Uh, obviously another day. Uh, I am going to try load up this floppy drive and show you guys what's on it. Um, and to do that, I had to go and, while I consider myself a bit, you know, a bit techie, I don't usually try to get virtual machines working and stuff, but I got virtual machines set up, VMware, Thank you, Oracle, um, and I will try to load up this floppy disk, this one here, and show you guys what's on it. So, all right, so let's see. Um, all right, so let's pop that in and see if that's gonna work. Okay, I am back again, and <laughs> so Windows 98, didn't work uh, or actually I couldn't get the network things all set up on the virtual machine I might be missing something very obvious but I just don't have the time so now we're gonna try Windows XP uh, professional and let's see if that's gonna make any difference so I have here in front of me for uh, virtual machine with Windows XP uh, running and let's take a look oh. I need to record the screen. Okay, I'm recording the screen and I have finally, finally got the floppy drive to work on Windows XP. Um, so let's see what's inside. So remember this one is for the Camaro, so the 1993 Camaro. Uh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed it's gonna work. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, okay, perfect. So it has worked and now, as you can see here, there is, um, there is something that comes up on the screen. So let me uh, double click on that and see if that's gonna work. <sighs> ah. All right, should we run as... Is it gonna work? No. Can I just copy to the desktop, please? <laughs> Come on, it's a .exe file. Someone out there must have a copy of it. And I will eventually find what's actually, I will actually find a copy online. Maybe I will download it somehow, but it's not, hmm. Let's see. Okay, all right. Uh, it's it's uh, is valid only other than the car machine. Boo, boo! All that, all that trouble for nothing. 
Oh my gosh. Oh. All right. Sorry, folks. Um, however, I do have another one. So let's see what this one is. The Hydro Plane floppy is going to be like. So let's take the Camaro out. And let's pop. Let's pop the Hydro Plane in here. Maybe we'll have better luck. Come on, come on, let's go. It's Windows XP. You guys should know each other. All right, it's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. Okay, similar to the Camaro, it does, it does load up. Damn it! So it doesn't seem to want to work. Um. So just want to say thank you so much, guys, for persevering and following me with this journey as well i think the camaro and the hydroplane both amazing cars i'm gonna pop this one out open i haven't realized i haven't done that yet um look uh this is the got the standard the hot wheels libraries on the side very cool hydroplane on the other hand fantasy car not very interesting uh but the camaro definitely is a very nice looking car i think i will keep in my nascar collection okay so thank you so much guys for watching and i hope you guys found hopefully most of this video interesting stay tuned for part two if i can find an expert out there they can get this to work I will have a go and get make sure part two is released sometime down the future. I just want to say a big thank you to our sponsor, Koval Displays. We have a massive promotion coming in May for six weeks. So stay tuned on our Instagram and future videos to find out what that promotion is. But remember, if you want to protect your red line clubs, super treasure hunts and convention cars and anything else in between, kovaldisplays.com.au is the place to go. So prices start from about 20 USD, uh, sorry, even less than that. You can get something for 15 USD and up uh, from short cards, long cards, or multi-stack up to 15 to 30 different cars. So if that's something you're looking uh, to do for your display, or you're gonna change up your display, my one is gonna be changing up shortly as well. Please do check them out and stay tuned for that promotion coming up in May. Thank you so much guys and I hope you guys had a fantastic time. Thank you for joining and remember subscribe, like and comment. Bye bye.